This tutorial video is going to demonstrate how to use 3D sketching to create essentially the tube that is connect, going to connect this exhaust flange to this collector to create the exhaust manifold. Now the first thing I need to do is make sure I can access the sketches on both sides. So uh, just the way I built this, this sketch on the collector is ready to go. It's already visible. And I need to do the same thing with this sketch on the flange. I can share it. I can make it visible, kind of whatever works for you. To start a 3D sketch, choose the drop-down box for starting the sketch. Click 3D. And then we have a slightly different toolbar than we do with the 2D sketches. So really what I'm trying to do is I have four uh, locations where my tube is going to start and four locations where it's going to end. I cannot have the tubes intersect each other, so they're all going to be slightly different. Now, beyond that, there are no additional instructions other than uh, the curves can't be less than 1.5 inches. All right, so I'm just going to start with this last one, this last uh, tube location, and I'm going to go to the bottom one here. I think that's going to kind of make the other tubes as easy as possible. So first thing I'm going to do is start with a line. Um, and you can see when you pick one of the sketch tools, you get what looks like your origin axes and origin planes. And that's exactly what it is. And this is a really good guide to sketching in 3D. So really what you're going to do is kind of select which plane you want to sketch on. And your 2D sketch is basically, or excuse me, your 3D sketch is basically uh, a series of 2D sketches. And so we kind of can switch back and forth to get the three-dimensional sketch that we want. Now, first thing I'm going to do is select my point I'm going to start from. And let's see, I'm going to go on this plane back here because I want to sketch on a straight line coming right out of this for a few inches at least. And now let's see, the next one, I kind of want to, I'm going to do a curve here and I'm going to use the arc tool. And I'm going to arc, let's see, I think I'm going to go pretty much straight up or up-ish. I'm going to kind of come up and trying to get it in line with where I want to end up. Make sure that I have a tangent in here. I'm not going to dimension this quite yet. I will shortly here. Now I'm going to start the other side, actually. I'm going to go to that termination point of the tube or start point, however you look at it. And I want to sketch straight out. So I'm going to click this plane. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come out a few inches. And then I'm going to do an arc. And I'm going to arc it towards this other point. So let's see. I think this plane would be the best for that. And to make sure I tangent this as well. And now I think I can get a line to connect the two dots. So let's see about that. And I believe that's going to be on this plane. All right, look, it's all connected. Now I have to put a couple tangents in here because if we're going to sweep something, it's got to be smooth. Absolutely must be smooth. Also make sure that these are over 1.5 inches. I'm just going to arbitrarily choose some numbers. In real life, kind of the smoother the bend, the larger the radius, the better it's going to flow, but we're not talking about fluid dynamics right now. Okay. This all looks pretty good. Now let's see if it'll sweep. So that sketch is done. Uh, my 2D sketch, I'm actually just going to share. Well, I'll take it back. I'm going to sketch the back side of this. And all I'm going to do is put a smaller circle inside of this one. I can actually use the offset tool if I project this first and let's say I'm running 16 gauge tube that would essentially be let's see the outside circle is 1.5 let's do this 1.625 minus 0.125 so that gives me a 2000s wall, which is 16 gauge steel. And 
Everything's good there. Finish that sketch. Now we sweep. So let's make sure I can get what I want. I'd like this to be hollow. Let's try the sketch first. That's going to be a sketch four. That was almost there. Just trying to make sure I get just the outside. It's giving me the inside. There it is. That was a little more difficult than it usually is, but no big deal. Okay, now let's see if it'll pick up the curve. And I'm going to be adding material, not taking it away. Now let's kind of take a look at this and see what it looks like. So there is the preview of the sweep. Now if you don't get a preview, then that's a really good indication that something is wrong. It could be the start points and end points don't connect to the path. That's pre uh, probably a pretty common one with sweep problems. It could also be that you don't have tangents in your path. Uh, those are probably the two biggest errors I see. Now that actually looks pretty darn good. Check the other side, hollow but sealed. Let's check the inside, the collector side. On the collector side, looks pretty good there too. That is absolutely perfect. I'll take that any day of the week. Now, the other tubes are, eh, I would say, a little bit easier once you do one. The other ones are easy. The only thing is usually the fourth tube is a little difficult because you kind of have to work your way around uh, what you've already done. But by that point, you should be able to make it without a problem. Um, so that is how you use 3D sketching to create a 3D path for your suite. Hopefully you guys can make that without much of a problem. And like I said, as you do it, do it a couple times, it gets a little bit easier. At first, it's pretty goofy using the 3D sketch, but I'm confident you guys can uh, figure it out.